edible plants. Hi parents, there are three different um, learning objectives here for this lesson. Uh, one is science, so we're talking about the different parts of the plant, the stem, the leaf, the roots, uh, oh, flower as well. Uh, so that's the science aspect of this lesson. The second uh, learning objective is a practical life skill, and that's caring for plant and also using plants for cooking. So however you can integrate that into the lesson, if you're able to use one of the plants that you have to, to cook with later. Um, I'm not cooking in this lesson, but I am <clears throat> drying this herb. Um, and then the third learning objective uh, is that we're engaging all of our senses. So they're gonna use the five senses while doing this project. Um, we're doing edible plants, so it should be something safe to eat if you can. So taste, smell, touch, sight, and this very little bit of a hearing. Plants aren't very noisy though. Hi class. For today's science lesson, we're gonna be working with plants specifically edible plants. An edible plant is a plant that you can eat. What you're gonna need is a plant that is growing outside or inside that you are able to cut. If you don't think that there is any plant in your house or outside your house that is edible and that you're able to cut, I would encourage you to go for a walk around your neighborhood and I'm going to post a video where I'm going to walk, going on a walk around my neighborhood uh, and look for edible plants because they're actually all around. Would you like to meet my edible plant? <laughs> it's time! <laughs> so this is two different thyme plants. One's lemon thyme and one's some other kind of time uh, that is growing really big. It's been uh, outside on my balcony. And today's uh, project is we're gonna talk about the different parts of uh, the thyme plant. We're gonna do a little pruning and then we're going to uh, pick some of the stems and dry them. So before we get too far, it will, you can watch the whole video first and then go find your edible plant um, or stop right here go on a hunt for the edible plants watch the other video um, where I can show you some of the uh, edible plants that are around my neighborhood that you probably have around your neighborhood too okay <laughs> plant parts all right <laughs> I'm going to pick one of these poor little plants to teach you. Uh, I'll do this one. This is a good one. Okay, hang on. All right. Put time on the ground. Here is a stem from my thyme plant. So the stem is the hard long part that looks like a branch, a stem. It's really fibrous. So while this is an edible plant, the stem part um, isn't the most delicious part. This is important to know. The other part of the plant that we see here are leaves. Now this is the part of time that you eat leaves. It's got small round leaves. The stem is thin, thin, thin and green. And the leaves are teeny tiny, smaller than your fingernail. All right, the last part of the plant that we can see on this stem is flowers, flowers. The uh, thyme's flowers are purple pink, and they're teeny tiny, just like three little buds, all clustered together around the leaves. So we've previously talked about plant parts. So you know most of this. 
I'm gonna talk about some sensory stuff here, fun, exciting. It feels soft, a little pokey, but other plants are much pokier. It feels soft. It doesn't really make a sound. Maybe you can hear kind of a bouncy sound, maybe. I see dark green leaves and a lighter green stem, and I see purple and pink flowers. Okay, now my favorite senses. For our edible plants, we're gonna smell. How we smell is you mush it a little bit between your fingers. <coughs> Mushing it, and now I can smell on the plant and on my fingers. This is the lemon thyme, so it smells a little bit like lemon. It smells a lot like lemon. Like a freshly scrubbed floor. <laughs> It does though, that's what it smells like to me. All right, and then taste. So I've picked just a little leaf and I'm gonna taste it. It's kind of bitter, like it makes your tongue shrink up. It tastes like the top of a pizza. Mm, it's like a warm kind of taste. All right, smell. We did feel, touch, no, that's the same thing. We did touch, taste, smell, hearing, and we did sight. There's a part of the plant that you can't see. I'm gonna hold up the plant again. And that is the roots. So in our time here, we see lots of lots of uh, stems, lots of leaves, all bushy coming out. And underneath in here, in the pot, under the dirt, it's the roots. And that's how it collects its water. All right, we've gone over our plant parts. We've gone over our senses. Now we're gonna move on to pruning. If you remember from stuff we previously talked about, <clears throat> plants get their energy, um, they make their own food. So they get their energy from the sun and from water, and then they make chlorophyll and they eat it. And that's what gives them good energy is those different things. Uh, a plant, all plants, but an edible plant in particular has to send all of that energy to very specific places. So, when a plant is trying to grow a fruit, like a, like a lemon tree, or if it's trying to um, get really tall or big leaves, that's where it's gonna put its energy. So a, a lemon tree puts a lot of the energy that it makes into its growing its little lemons. And a oregano, not oregano, a thyme, is gonna put a lot of energy into growing big, growing tall, and growing lots of leaves. But there's one thing that plants also put energy into that matters when it comes to edible plants. They put a lot of energy into making more plants. So that means making flowers. If you can see in our beautiful time, this plant has stopped putting as much energy into growing big and tall because it feels like it grew big and tall enough and it started putting lots of its energy into growing flowers so that it can make more and more plants. The reason this matters for an edible plant is because all the delicious thyme, that, that taste that, that we like, is inside the leaves. Once the plant starts putting energy into making flowers instead, it doesn't put as much energy into making delicious leaves. So these, after the plant has flowered, the leaves don't taste as strongly. So what that means for our poor little thyme plant here is I'm about to cut off a bunch of its flowers. 
While I am cutting off the flowers from the thyme plant, I hope that at home you are using your five senses to interact with your edible plant. If I just realized if you weren't able to find an edible plant in your neighborhood, you might have an edible plant in your fridge. So lots of things that we eat are plants. Strawberries and celery and lettuce. There's lots of edible plants around um, <clears throat> in your kitchen probably. So with whatever your edible plant is, go ahead and hold it close to your face and move it around a little bit. Listen to it. Could sound like rustling. Smell it. What's it smell like? Taste it. Is the taste the same as the smell? Look at it. What color is it? And touch it. How does it feel? Here are all the stems that had flowers on them. Why did I do that? so that the plant would put more energy into the leaves and make the leaves more delicious. Because I am using this plant for food, so I don't have as much invested interest as the plant does in making little baby plants. <laughs> now we're gonna dry our edible plant. When you go to the store with your parents, you might go to the spices section and see something like this. This is dried thyme. It smells different than our fresh plant, that's so funny. It looks like this. Like, um, sand like dust. It looks, uh, it looks like the stuff at the bottom of the cereal box after you've eaten all the cereal. It smells good. The fresh thyme looks like this. So there's a big difference between how they look. When you dry out the thyme, it becomes darker, it becomes smaller, um, more brittle. This feels soft, and the dried one feels pokey, sharp. We are going to turn some of this thyme plant's uh, stems into dried thyme. So I'm going to choose really long stems. I'm going to cut them and I'm going to hang them up. So if you've found your edible plant, I want you to try to do the same. We'll see if we can. If your edible plant is something like an orange, you can dry an orange. It's just going to take a little bit more work. Okay. If you're able to cut off the stems yourself, uh, go ahead and do that. Sometimes you can just pull them off uh, by grabbing on and pulling. If you aren't able to cut off the stems yourself, um, then you can be a helper by holding on to the plant while somebody else cuts it, um, by keeping it on your lap, or by saying yes or no for which parts you want to cut off. So your parent or helper might ask you, should we cut this branch? And then you should tell, say yes or no. Now I have my stacks of thyme stems, a little bundle. What I'm going to do is put them one on top of the other, then I'm going to tie them at the bottom using ribbon because that's what I have, and I'm going to hang them up uh, in my kitchen. Over time, your dried out plant is going to change in the way that it feels, it looks, it smells, it tastes. So while your plant is drying out over the next uh, couple of weeks, why don't you take it down once in a while and compare it to how it felt when it was fresh or how it smelled when it was fresh. You could even taste it, compare it to how it tasted when it was fresh. I noticed that the fresh thyme smelled um, earthier 
and it was softer and the taste was pretty strong. In the dried out time, I noticed that the smell wasn't as strong, um, the taste wasn't really as strong, um, and the color became more brown. So as time goes on, why don't you compare the fresh plant to the dried out plant? My good students, please remember that an important part of this project is also that you help clean up afterwards. So if you got plant stuff all around, go ahead and wipe down the table, put away the supplies. You can do it. And that's it. I hope you make something delicious and you spend a little bit of time getting a little messy. <laughs> okay, good job everyone.